Shalom, Shalom, Koholayim La, Albanawa, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahashim, Ha Rechachardash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akim out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Okay, this is your brother, Amoth Ya'ais from Yahawada. Amoth Ya'ais from Yahawada. Coming at y'all again with another beautiful lesson. Through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Wives, sisters, Israelite women, love your husband. Wives, love your husband. So I made a lesson last night, you know, basically, you know, saying what you shouldn't be doing, which, which was just really a quick hit. It wasn't really no deep, uh, uh, long lesson. It was a quick hit off the spirit but we're going to go into what you should be doing the, the the characteristics and the traits that you should have so without further ado let me stop running my mouth let's go to proverbs <clears throat> proverbs chapter 14 verse 1 and it reads this every wise woman every wise woman buildeth her house but the foolish plucketh it down with her hands so if you a wise woman and you and you build your house what are you doing Okay, instead of me breaking it down, we're going to use scriptures to break down all this. Okay, so let's go to Titus. Let's see. Let's read this again. Every wise woman breaker for house. Salaki, I'm, I'm sorry, Salaki, forgive me. Proverbs 14, verse 1. Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with their hands. So what does that mean? Let's let this Bible uh, speak. Let's let the Bible break that down. Uh, this is uh, Titus chapter 2, verses 3 to 5. The age woman, likewise, that they be in behavior as become of holiness, not false accusers, not given too much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of the Most High be not blasphemed okay and that's how that's how that's how our sisters you know build a strong foundation in the household man by by, by having these uh characteristics these traits all right having having uh this uh, knowledge wisdom and understanding to know their position man okay to make sure that foundation is is, is, is not being uh uh builded on a uh, sand but on a rock you know period man all right let's keep on going because <clears throat> at the end of the day man you know right now this is what you're saying right now man the israelite man is being raised back up the israelite man is being uh, uh, uh given the strength back the israelite man is being uh, uh acknowledged how how we should be acknowledged as the, as the as the most precious uh gift creation create creature on the earth man so this is isaiah 13 Isaiah 13, verse 12, and it reads this. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Now, you, you sisters need to realize this, man. And you know, you sisters that's in this truth with all truth and sincerity, and, and that's humble, and that's uh, and that's uh, 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 that's coming with uh, meekness and um, obedience to Yahweh Y'all know this. Y'all are practicing this. But you know, the, the two thirds of our sisters don't realize, man, that, that you have the best men in your nation from 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 the southern kingdom to the northern kingdom, from 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 Yahawada down to uh, 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 y Yashikar, which is a uh, um, Issachar and Yahawada is Judah. So from from the from the from the first tribe to the last tribe, you have the best men in every single tribe of our nation, man. You have the best men. And right now, you, you're literally saying, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, give us our, our power back, our rightful place on this earth. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the gold wedge of Ophir. Period, man. Period. So with you knowing that, this is what you should be doing. You know, uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 5, 
<clears throat> Let's start off at verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Hamashiach is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Hamashiach, so let so let the like so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Not just a little, not just that, not just this. Everything, man. Everything. That's 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 a solid foundation, man. Because if what you submit to your husband, you know, and, and first of all, like I said, submit to your husband. You submit to your husband. You submit to your Yahweh while Yahweh shy. Period. And everything. Okay, because your husband is is a is a servant of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's that's your, that's your Lord. So what you doing that? Y'all 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 have this man, and we know all this is not going to be be fulfilled 144 fold until we get in the kingdom. But you can still attempt to uh to try to uh you know make this happen. All right, this is Ecclesiastes 25 verse one. In three things I was beautified and stood up beautiful both before the Most High and men. The unity of brethren, the love of neighbors, a man and a wife that agree together. That's a beautiful foundation right there, Israel, to be able to be in agreement with your wife and your wife to be able to be in agreement with you. That's one. That's one. That's one body, one mind, one spirit, man. You know, you man, that's beautiful, man. Can you just imagine that in the kingdom, man? Just like we're rehearsing the righteous acts of the law, we can still attempt to, you know, uh, uh, attempt to put our best effort in all these things that we read about that we can do in, in the flesh, man. OK, of course, of course, we're not going to be able to, to fulfill this now, but we can still, you know, uh, attempt to be obedient as obedient as we can. Let's jump here real quick. Let's go to first Peter. <clears throat> First Peter chapter three, and let's read verses five to six. Let's get, let's get an example of Sarah. First Peter chapter three, starting off at verse five. For after this manner in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in the most high adorned themselves being in subjection. You hear that? For after this manner in the old time, the holy women also who trusted in the Most High, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, adorned themselves being in subjection unto their own husbands. Woo! Verse 6. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as ye do well, and are not afraid with any amazement. So you don't need to be worrying about with the damn nigger woman, the two third nigger woman, uh, uh, the damn heathen woman, Esau Edom is telling you, oh, no, you're above the man. You you don't need to be bound down to him. You don't need to be doing that. You're a slave. Blah blah blah. They they're they're the they're freaking heathens, man. They don't have the the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of these scriptures. They don't have Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. They ain't the chosen people, man. So how in the hell are they gonna tell you what your what your heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is telling you to do, which is a righteous way. Stop listening, man. Only hey, look, man. Stop listening to these heathens, man. These heathens are are, are going in, in, into a, a captivity, man. They're gonna be beneath us forever, man. Period, man. Let's keep on going. Let's go to um. Let's jump back to Isaiah real quick, cause you know, like I said, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah is giving the Israelite man back his glory, back his rightful his rightful place on, on, on this planet, man. So when all hell is breaking loose. And even before all hell was breaking loose and everything was happening, your man is your protector, man. Isaiah 32, verse 2. And a man shall be as in hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So you're only going to be protected by a man of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Because just like Isaiah 13, verse uh, uh, um, 12 states that a man will be made more precious than gold. Okay, the is and that's the Israelite man. And furthermore, that's that's the uh, the, uh, the 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 hopeful elect man, the a man of Yahweh by Shin Yahweh Shai. 
Not no damn nigga on the streets with his pants up below his ass cheeks. Little AK-47. Little, little I get it popping. Nah, not, not those niggas. Because those niggas is going to be judged, man. A man of your how about shim your how is shot is gonna is what you gonna be need to is what you gonna be, need to have in these day in these uh, days to come, man. Okay, and furthermore, let's keep on going. And furthermore, your how about shim your how is gonna put the spirit on brothers to be able to reject and to be able to accept certain sisters, man, as wives, man. So let's go here. First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse three. But I would have you know. That the head of every man is Hamashiach, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Hamashiach is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So it's Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, the Israelite man, the woman, then the children. That is the order. That's righteous order. Okay, and for you women, for you, for you in dubs, you you wicked eaves. And not, when, when I say when I say in dubs and wicked ease, I'm talking about the whole nation of Israel, not just the southern kingdom, the whole nation. For you to sit right here and try to be above the man, that basically means you're trying to be above Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. And that's going to lead you to get judged, man. Okay, just like the beloved Elder Malcolm will always say, everybody's a Christian until the scriptures come out. And let's go to Proverbs. Because you, you should be trying to, you know, please your man. You should be trying to please your man and, and trust and believe, sisters. If you if you attempting to be righteous and you attempting to do everything to the best of your ability that your Habba Shem Yahshua gives you, your man gonna take care of you, man. Your man gonna make sure you know that you that you well taken care of, you you happy, all that, man. You know, this is Proverbs thirty one, starting off at verse ten and then at twelve. Who can find a virtuous woman? For her price is far above rubies. The heart. The heart, which is your mind, of her husband, do safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life, man. And like I said, all this is not going to be able to be fulfilled until we in the kingdom to, to, for everybody to be righteous and, and, and follow order and be obedient. But we can still attempt to, to, you know, to practice this to the best of our ability, man. To not be damn demons, man. Not be out here arguing, causing affliction when we already going through hell every day. We wake up to vexation, vanity, oppression. So, you ladies, don't, don't, don't be out here, you know, adding, adding uh, 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 gasoline to the fire, man. And you men, man, don't be out here just being an a, a, a-hole because you know you above your woman, man. Have balance, man. Okay, let's keep on going. <clears throat> Let's jump back to First uh, Corinthians. <clears throat> first Corinthians chapter eleven, starting off at verse eight and nine, because you were made to be a help me for the man. The woman was created for the man. All right, First Corinthians chapter eleven, verse eight. For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. So you were created to be a help me for the woman. You were, you are a pillar of rest to the man. You know, you you that man's lifeline, man. A man might have a hard day at work or, ha or have a bad day, whatever the case may be. He want to come home to a soft, loving, you know, beautiful, uh, a smelling, you know, smelling good woman. And that this that just that, that just feels so soft when he when she touch him, rub his head, make him fall asleep just by rubbing his head for two minutes. You know, he, a man desires to have that woman's touch, just like a woman desires to have that man's touch, man. You know? Don't cause the affliction. Be be the be the uh 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 be the uh, uh the, the the answer, man. Be the be the uh, uh the the one to take away that stress. You know, console your man, love your man. Let you let make your man feel like he like he like he like he made a good decision, uh, making you his wife. You know. Let's let's jump here real quick. Cause like I said, you should be a uh, salakia. Doing everything you can, man. And like I said, if you if you pleasing your man, your man is gonna take care of you, man. Y'all y'all know that the Israelite man, y'all know that we love our woman, man. Period, man. Shalakia. All right, this is Ecclesiasticus chapter twenty six, starting off at verse one. Blessed is the man that have a virtuous wife, for the number of his days shall be doubled. 
Blessed is the man that have a virtuous wife, for the number of his days shall be double. And that's right, man. So when you're stressing a man out and you're and you're nothing but hell, and you always cause him problems and everything else, man, you're basically uh, making his his uh, days of life uh, decrease. Verse two: A virtuous woman rejoices for her husband, and he shall and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. Every man wants that. Every man wants peace, man. We don't want to come home to a damn a uh, brute beast. You don't believe what's happening. You ain't even. You ain't even. You ain't even uh, uh, put two feet in the door. You all you did was open the damn door, and you already coming home to uh, madness. Verse three: A good wife is a good portion, which shall be given in the portion of them that fear Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Now, if you got a, if you got a man that's so called in the truth, and you a demon, and he a demon. Then obviously you're not, you're not, you don't, you don't fear Yahweh Shah and Yahweh Shah. Both of you are damn demons, man. Because Yahweh Shah and Yahweh Shah is not going to give a godly woman to a godly man. He's going to give a, a wicked, abominable, filthy ass woman to a wicked man. Period, man. Period, man. Let's keep on going. <clears throat> Let's jump to collages real quick. We're going to close out soon. It's got a few, a uh, few more I want to read. Collages chapter three. Let's read verses 18 and 19. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as it is fit in Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Husbands, love your wives and be not bitter against them. Okay? So, you know, obviously we're we supposed to love our wives too, Israel. You know, we ain't supposed to be treating our women nasty, uh, uh, treating them like they slaves and just being disrespectful towards them, not showing them love, compassion, none of that, man. You know, just because we're the head, we still have to, you know, treat our wives with respect. Just like you want to get treated with respect, you treat your woman with respect, man. That's just common sense. All right. And there's going to be trouble in the flesh, man. We ain't captivity, man. We ain't perfect, man. We still got these cor uh, 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 corruptible bodies, this corruptible flesh, you know, corruptible minds. OK, we're not we're not uh, purified yet. OK, so we doing everything the best the best that we can. Let's jump back to Ecclesiasticus. <clears throat> Salakia. <clears throat> Damn. Ecclesiasticus chapter 26. Let's read verses 14 to 15, I want to say. Verse 14. A silent and loving woman is a gift of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and there is nothing much worth as a as a mind well instructed and that means that your wife was trained from the day she was born to be a wife to be a righteous woman to be a godly fearing woman man to be able to please her her husband man but now in these days what are these women teaching these uh, kids how to twerk how to uh, uh how to uh you know play the field how to how to become a damn doorknob you know, the, 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 the woman of our nation now just teach our kids how to be wicked, man. Especially, they teach the woman how to be, you know, masculine. And they teach the men how to be soft, effeminate, man. Verse 15. A shamefaced and faithful woman is a double grace and her content mind cannot be valued. Man, that's a gift, man. To have a woman that is well instructed, that fears Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai, and that's obedient to her husband. And that wants to serve a husband is a gift, man. Period, man. It's, 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 that's a beautiful gift, man. And another thing, too, I want to, I want to make a point on. Let's uh, jump to, back to 1 uh, Corinthians. Ladies, don't be withholding sex from your man. Because at the end of the day, man, you, we're not supposed to be doing that, man. All right, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 4. The wife have not power over her own body, but the husband. And likewise, also, the husband have not power of his own body, but the wife. So if your wife want to get down, you got to give it to her. If your husband want to get down, you got to give it to him, man. And furthermore, we Israelites, man, we love to get it in, man. Okay, that's just, that's just in our nature, man. We, we love to, you know, have sex. And that relieves, you know, whether you believe it or not, that relieves a lot of stress, you know. And that's why, you know, as, as it says in uh, Exodus 1 and 7, the more we got oppressed in uh, Egypt, the more we multiply so we was, we was having sex left and right in the land of Egypt, man. Verse five, defraud ye not one the other, except it be with consent for a time. So unless you agreeing on something like we ain't going to have sex for, for this portion of time, we're going to we're going to agree on this, you know, yada, yada, yada. That ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer. And that should be the main cause. 
to, to fasting and, and to prayer, man, to not defile yourselves, to not, to not make yourselves unclean while you're doing those things, that ye may give yourselves to fasting and prayer and come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your in, in, it's like in, in, it's like I'm excited, in con, Incontensity. I know I probably said that wrong, but Salaki, y'all see it. I probably said it wrong, Salaki. Forgive me. But yeah, because you don't want to uh, sit right here and have Satan uh, 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 come upon your woman, man, and you know she commit adultery on you, man. That's why y'all need to be in agreement. You know, when y'all fasting and y'all praying and y'all don't, you know, want to be in, in the spirit, y'all need to be in agreement on what y'all gonna do, man. But let's close out here, man. <clears throat> let's close out here. Ecclesiastes chapter twenty-six. <clears throat> so like you. Verse 23. I made this point earlier, so we're going to close out here. This would be a good point to close out. Ecclesiastes 26, verse 23. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man. Like I said, a, 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 a God fearing man, a man that fears Jehovah by Shem Yahweh Shai is not going to get a wicked woman. He's going to get a woman that fears Jehovah by Shem Yahweh Shai. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that feareth Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, man. So there you have it, man. Wives, Israelite women, sisters, love your husbands, man. Love your husbands, man. Even if you if you have a demon and your husband out in the truth, man, still, you know, stay in order, man. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai will bless you, man. Trust and believe, man. Just be patient. Endure. Okay? But Israelite women, sisters, love your husbands, man. So I don't want to write this out. This was edifying. I pray and I hope this was edifying. So with that, I'm just going to say, Shalom.